Jason Hayward will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Here's the first offering. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Here's the pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So good idea there just to wait for strike one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Here's the one two. Fouled back. Here he comes again one two. So two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. A throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Yadier Molina will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2. Another 0 2 home. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Here's another 0-2. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, and that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. Johnny Peralta will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ballgame are growing dimmer by the batter. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Now here it comes. Good swing there by Peralta, but he comes up empty 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Carlos Villanueva is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Stephen Chen will buy himself another at bat and in turn he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen and I don't blame them. Now the 1 0. Up top it's 2 0. I got to think he's going to leave the bat on his shoulder again here even 2 0. This approach hasn't been too sharp so far to lead off the inning. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Boy, and on 2-0, and oh, if that pitch isn't right where you want it, you got to let it go. You still have to count your favorite 2-1. Here he goes after a pitch that, although it was a strike, that's a pitcher's strike. That's not the pitch you want to hit. And all he can do is hit an easy grounder. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Dexter Fowler is at the plate as he watches ball one. 1-0. One -oh. 
Now here's a line shot out to right field and it'll get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. And he's well on his way to a nice series now. Third hit so far tonight. These guys are going to need his production here, so a welcome side indeed. Starlin Castro will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Before the first pitch, a check at first. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. First pitch on the way. Hit pretty well as this is out toward deep center. And Jay will take this one in, and the inning is over. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies, as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Colton Wong will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now here's the first pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. As you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Tony Cruz digs in at the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Boy, it's one thing for a reliever to come in out of the pen and throw 100 miles an hour for 15 pitches or so. But he's right up there around the century mark now, and he's still throwing hard. And he will make the play. Two away now. Well, he continues to plow right through these guys. <laughs> My man's working on a one-hit shutout. John Jay stand in now is their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. And a ball 1-0. And they'll try and end it here with an even 100 pitches. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's 1-1. 100 miles an hour is hard. A high 100, impossible to get on top of hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. The pitch. And there's a swing and a miss on a good pitch, and now the Redbirds are down to their final strike. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Boy, what a performance of pitching that we just saw. He was so close to putting his name into the record books, but he's going to have to settle for that complete game one-hitter.